Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we are doing the review of the ASIC Met Conviction. Um, these are, as far as I know, ASIC's first actual functional fitness shoe. I know they had the Fortius before, um, but if you go on ASIC's website and you look at the description for these shoes, it actually says they are functional fitness shoes, burpees, box jumps, or whatever. Um, Initially, I did not want to buy these shoes because they kind of look cheap on ASIC's website. The, the stock photos made it look a little uh, crappy. But in real life, it's actually a really good looking shoe. The materials are very, very nice. It's well constructed. Um, it's super light. It weighs 8.8 .8 ounces. The heel to toe drop is three millimeters, which puts it in line with the Nano 5.0s. Um, I believe the heel is like 7 millimeters and the toe area is 3 millimeters. Um, there's this little saying on the inside, it says every day is stronger, which is a little, a little cheesy, but, but whatever, you don't really see it too often. Um, the insole, slightly more cushioned than what you're going to see on the Nano. It's about three millimeters. The platform overall is very, very reminiscent of the Reebok Speed TRs, the current version of Speed TRs. Um, the shoe shape is, is very reminiscent of them as well. These are a 9.5. Uh, fitment wise, you're gonna notice that the toe box area is a little bit more narrow than on um, Nanos or Metcons initially but it does break in over time um, to the point where they do become very comfortable but the overall shape and feel is more reminiscent of the speed TRs. Now performance wise I've done pretty much everything you can do in these shoes. I've run box jumps, uh, cleans and whatnot and, and they perform as good as just about any other CrossFit shoe out there. There's actually a little bit more midsole cushioning um, so they're a little bit more forgiving so just kind of walk around in, coach in. But otherwise, they're very flat shoes, very neutral, and the power delivery is uh, still very good on these shoes, albeit that uh, cushioned midsole. Traction is excellent. Uh, it kind of has this crazy looking pattern here, but I've never had any kind of loss of traction. Uh, durability wise, you have this, uh, it's kind of like a nylon ripstop fabric upper. It's very breathable. Uh, I haven't had any kind of like hot foot issues or anything. I uh, haven't climbed the rope in these shoes just yet, but I'll do a little demonstration of that at the end of this video. Overall, I really like the Met Convictions. They're a very good looking shoe. They fit well. If you have uh, more narrow feet, they're probably going to be better for you than like a Nano 5.0. I know that's uh, a main complaint about the Nano series shoes. Uh, overall, it's a very good alternative shoe to what's already out there, uh, but don't expect like uh, anything game changing here. They do, they, they are very comfortable and they look good. Um, if you can get them on sale, by all means, definitely spring for them. Um, I think the deal that I got them for is, uh, was excellent. Overall, definitely do recommend these shoes. Uh, if you are looking at them, you just wanted something a little bit different, check out the ASIC Met Conviction. Probably the stupidest name shoe, but it is what it is. Anyways, check out the full review at as many reviews as possible.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Alright, so let's try that rope climb now. Pretty good, very grippy. I'd say it's a pass, better than a uh, Nano 5.0.